In this episode, I celebrate the climax of my bodega remodel and reveal the finished product. After the dirty work was behind me in part one of this transformation, I moved on to painting the bodega and completing the final touches. Join me as I ponder the possibility of moving into the bodega and welcome you in for an exclusive VIP tour. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get into the adventure. All right, so today we are gonna finally start painting this bodega. It has been a labor of love over the past couple weeks, trying to get this up to some livable standards and really just repairing a lot of the wood damage that we had. And uh, now, hopefully, being able to seal all of this wood in the concrete is going to get rid of some of the odors and also just make it a little bit more homey. So the entrance to the bodega, I've done a little bit of landscaping over here, as you can see. You know, I couldn't help myself with all the rain here. Did some repair to the concrete, moved the dryer over, reoriented that a little bit, trying to have the exhaust here so it's not blowing into the bodega. Um, and since then, the windows have been repaired, so I fixed the windows, repaired all of the window seals, so all this wood needed to be replaced, reinstalled all the latches, and this is going to be the project today. So because I just have a couple cans of paint that were like left here. I'm just gonna use what we have on hand. I'm not gonna try to avoid buying any new materials. I'm just gonna use what we have. So this is some leftover paint from the interior of the house. And we're just gonna go with this color. So I'm gonna do blue on this wall and then I'm gonna do white on the rest of the walls. Cause I think I have more white than blue. We're gonna see how far we can get. Yeah, so we got a lot of friends in here. So like this, the cucaracha right here. Like, it's just part of living in the jungle, so they're harmless creatures. Um, they're actually decomposers, so I'm not really worried about it too much, but the whole hope is that we create a livable, habitable space that is free of insectos and other critters that are gonna come in here. Um, but if you recall, I do have videos of bats flying around in here just a couple months ago, so things have progressed and come a long way. So let's get this painting started. We were expecting a hurricane yesterday and today, but uh, just some light rain that we've had over the last 24 hours, so it really hasn't been that major. Kingston just got done with football. Let's come see this foam. This is the progress on the bodega. We got a base coat down for everything, so we still got some details that we need to paint, but as you can see, there's light coming through the top of the bodega, so that's the gap in between the roof, the aluminum siding, the tolos, and the walls. And so this is something that most Ticos would just kind of live with, but <laughs> like there's lots of geckos and other creatures in here, and uh, I think that's just something that we're not, we're not willing to sacrifice. So, so the floors are messed up. We just went and got some paint for the floors, so we'll do that very last. Try to get rid of some of these gaps in here. Fill these gaps with the expansion foam. No mas insectos. Dentro de mi bodega. Do not eat this at home, ladies and gentlemen. Eat that stuff. 
Very kind of hardening. I got Keja helping me finish up. Was helping me push to the finish. Finally finished this part of the bodega project. So we got our gap filler up there. Keep the insectos out. We ran out. That one can was not enough. These gaps are super big. Oh, so yeah. We clean. Clean as a whistle. Wait, Dad, you ran out of gray stuff? I guess I ran out the foam. Let's see. Puma Expansivo. We ran out. Um, yeah, so we finally finished. This was a pain. The concrete blocks that we have in here were just absorbing all the paint. So we just had just enough paint to be able to finish the project. You can see it's to the very the end. I know, the holes. These holes are not making it easy. We're trying to seal, create a moisture barrier. Keep all of the termites out. Of course, it'll make it a lot easier to see them if they do start burrowing in here if you have any of those subterranean termites. But man, this is like a huge departure from where this bodega was just a couple months ago. Man, you know, but most of it all accelerating here just in the last couple weeks. So, gracias para queza for help. And uh, we're gonna grab some food now. Oh, all right, so we're getting close to the conclusion of this bodega project, and I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. What we're gonna do now is kind of move to focusing on some of the details. So actually putting in some of the shelves, putting in some of, like a small workbench, and as well as a place to hang clothes so that this can be a very functional space and we're maximizing every little inch that we have. Progress, progress. Ooh. Looking good, so I've done a lot of ceiling up here so I'm actually leaving a little bit of ventilation so I was more worried about mosquitoes and bugs and stuff getting in um, but I've insulated some of it and sealed some of the cracks but you know, for ventilation purposes I want to leave some of this open so over here on this side this is kind of gonna be the bodega slash storage area so I'm gonna put like a little workbench right here add some area to hang some of the tools and stuff over here shelving and then I'm going to try to put like some a clothesline or something here to where I can hang clothes at since there's not going to be any other storage space. How are we doing Gigi? Bolivian? Alright so we have progress. Now we have two shelves. One which is more like a workbench. We'll probably use this like a workbench and then there's a shelf up top kind of right over the window here. So that one will definitely with just storage items that aren't used very often. Progress. All right, a couple hours later and I have managed to finish, I think, the shelves and a little workbench. And I also have some place to hang clothes or other items that might need to be hung up. So I'm probably gonna add some more hooks and stuff in here eventually. But we got a nice little clothes hanging rack that's suspended up here. And then we got like a nice little workbench. workbench that's also a shelf. Got a shelf up top there. And then right over the window, we have this shelf up here. So I got some final painting to do. I'm gonna touch all this stuff up. And then once I'm finished with just painting all of this new wood and all these new installations, then the final touch is getting the floors done so that we can go ahead and start moving stuff in here. We only got about another week before we're heading back to the States and uh, need to have this all set and ready to go so I can move all of our stuff in here. We're gonna have somebody staying here for the month while we're gone in the States, taking care of the dogs and uh, managing the house. So as soon as I get all of this new wood painted and some more touch-ups, the last thing to do is the floor. So I'll be able to get the floor done in the next couple days and then move all of my things in here. 
I'm gonna move all of our stuff in here because we're gonna have somebody staying here over the summer break or over July while we're in the States taking care of the dogs and just managing the house. Um, so it's gonna work out really well for us and excited about the progress. It's totally different, this transformation. And here are the pieces. And the floors are nasty. This has been a construction zone. So I have some floor paint that is going to transform this whole space. So just some little touch up paint here. I think I'm gonna do like a little mural there or something, not sure. And then this wall, and then we'll be done. My biggest challenge in doing any type of home improvement project or DIY project is that I'm just a perfectionist and uh, I don't like to cut corners and I like to do things right and I like to make them look aesthetically pleasing. And so that was kind of the frustrating part is just kind of building out of this bodega. There was just so many things that were done without a measuring tape or a level. And so it created some challenges. I mean, you could just see, you know, just some of these, some of these studs in the wall. They're just like not even. <laughs> They're not even straight at all. So like mounting this shelf up here, I was looking at these studs and none of these studs are actually level. So made for quite the challenge. So we've reached the final phase of this bodega or remodel or renovation, uh, turning this old school bodega into a new school modern living space with all of the necessary storage space for my tools and everything else. So I've reached this final phase, which is painting the floor. I'm tired, there's a lot going on, but this is the critical point right here. This is the climax of this project. So all of the touch-up painting has been completed. All of the ceiling has been completed. We now have a functional workspace over here. Check. And so it's these pisos. The floors are the last thing that I have to do. I will be done. It's my least favorite thing to do with any renovation project is painting. It's just a pain. Cleaning up paint, dealing with paint brushes. Not my favorite thing to do, but it is one of, not one of my favorite things to do, but painting is definitely one of those final touches that just really makes it come to life. highly anticipated wait is over. I have completed the bodega project and now we're gonna go and take one final look to see this extreme makeover from the beginning to end. Let's go take a look. So the bodega project has now been completed. All in all, I spent about three days of full labor and only about $150 to complete this transformation. Most of it was just backbreaking labor. 
I had a really great time transforming this space and now it can be utilized for a lot of different things. I'm currently using this bodega as a workshop as well as a storage space for my sports equipment and my bicycles. Could it possibly be used as a room? Absolutely, it could be used as a room. The standards that I wanted to achieve in this project was making it to where it could be livable. And so for me, that was the basic minimum standard that I wanted to achieve through this project. So regardless of whether or not I want to use this space as a bedroom, I wanted to make sure that it could be used as a bedroom. So now with the Bodega Project complete, it's time to move on to our next adventure. So thanks again for joining us on this episode of the Free Range Squad. And until our next adventure, Pura Vida.